Now we go to the techie side of broadcast, and this is the Streambox Avenir. It's a compact encoder for video. You connect your field camera and stream video over 3G. You need this field box and a decoder at your base to output the video. Streambox is handled by Amber Technology and the field box will cost north of $20,000 for the 64 gig version. Over to you guys, Peter. Mm. This is one of a family of things called bonded 3G uh, linking services. Uh, it differs from like satellite uplink, downlink and microwave links in that you're not buying a dedicated path. You're actually using a share of the public internet services offered by various phone providers. So you can't be absolutely sure you're going to get at the output what you sent in at the input, if anything. On average though, it seems to work okay for news quality stuff and things where you're not absolutely guaranteeing a large chunk of airtime for uh, delivery of your program. What you can actually do is, is the whole idea of this thing is it's got eight USB ports so you can stick eight different modems in and you can spread those ac across a couple of different providers so even if you have like a completely major cock up and lose a whole network you've still got a path and as long as you've got at least two of the 3G modems working um, that'll give you enough bandwidth to push out full broadcast grade standard definition. So that's full motion, no yep. frame droppings and yep. things? Yep, full no, right. No blockiness? Full right, and that's with a little bit of headroom as well. It'll also, uh, it'll downscale its quality if the connection speed diminishes. So you stick even more in there and it's probably a bit redundant, but yeah, it'll, it'll do it. Um, you can also run it on Wi-Fi. You can um, run it on Wi-Fi and uh, it's got network ports on the side so you can run it on a local network. So yeah, you can go to the Starbucks or the McDonald's. It'll, if, it'll, know, um, things take your fancy and use the network there. Yeah, it, it'll buffer as well. It, you know, if, if you've got a bit of uh, latency in your show, if you've got enough time and if you want to surf the wave of, of buffering, um, you can start your uplink and then um, away you go. It could be quite difficult doing live two-way crosses because you don't exactly know what the delay between the camera and the reception at the station is going to be. On the note of crosses though, they, they've actually they've done a cute thing and they've built an IFB port onto the Avenir um, and on your decoder at the other end you've got an audio input so you can actually have your studio talking via your decoder backwards through the Avenir and have an earpiece for your talent on set, so, I'm sorry, on location. Streambox have got a, a, an, an additional um, product which is uh, an iPhone based subscription model where the broadcaster pays an annual subscription fee, uh, issues any number of uh, field reporters uh, with access. Here's one I prepared earlier. Yeah, and through their iPhone they can transmit live back to the studio and um, it's decoded at the other end by this technology. It certainly opens up some new options for news gathering and a contribution from a lot more sources than ever before. So overall guys, what do we think? The fan's really, really loud. The fan's really loud, but, but otherwise? Fan's really loud. I think we should definitely watch this space for better compression codecs and better 3G services. These sort of products have got a big future.